full of something's got to be done about this so you can see it's pretty big pain in the butt to have the tools all right here so uh like under the lathe like i gotta pull them out every time i gotta try and find out which ones they are i gotta find them we're, we're not doing that we're not doing that anymore so on a live stream a little earlier uh the community came together about four or five guys and we designed uh some tool holders that are going to mount right here instead so let's print them off that power of editing Isn't that amazing so this one was printed on the cr10 uh standard cr10 it goes the full 250 millimeters um i switched out filament because i had some green to burn off so i said hey, i'll print with green on the bottom and then finish off with a nice blue this is all Ma uh, maker geeks filament i think it printed all right i'm especially uh, happy with the top so I have variable settings here so the holes themselves are actually set up as 100% infill so that's why you see that band there so I wanted to have the holes to be reinforced with 100% so that's what it looks like when it prints 100 so this one is uh, the one that printed on the A net A8 you can obviously tell that it's not as tall, but I couldn't, uh, you know, the uh, A-Net only has a Z travel of about 240, which realistically I think is more like a 230. So this one's cut down to 230 towards the top, which shouldn't really matter if I stage them correctly. Should be just fine. So I think that printed really well too. I'm even impressed with how the a net handled the z going above 200 millimeters on the z seemed to do really nicely so yeah another good part let's put it on the bench this is an eight by two inch torx head screws screw in there throw some tools in it. Why not? Well, thanks for watching. I think the next step is to do something with the tops so I know what tool they are. Um, or I can just get accustomed to what tool was in what spot. I'm not too worried about it. But Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. I'll throw these up on Thingiverse if anybody wants to print them. Do bear in mind that at uh, about 20% infill with three perimeters, they uh, cost you about half a spool a piece. But if you get your ch uh, filament cheap enough, you know, you're looking at, what, 750 for one of these things? And I doubt you could buy the store for that. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, give a like, maybe subscribe. Check out the Discord server, and then uh, check out all the other social media stuff. 
I post uh, random stuff on Instagram every once in a while. So keep your amps up. You're filming truck.